All right, now, of course, I have to do a review for the next episode of My Adventures of Superman because, as I said, that show is pretty freaking awesome. And to be honest, it seems like it's getting better with each episode. I will say that going into this fourth episode, it looks like it's going to be one of those shows where you really shouldn't lean too heavily on the lore of what you know already in Superman because it seems like they're kind of taking a few different things and flipping it on his head. And this episode was definitely one of those things that made me realize that. So, to start off this episode, uh, Lois, Clark, and Jimmy are pretty much getting ready for their next new assignment. Uh, Perry decides to have them interview or attend a party for Ivo. And if you remember Ivo, Ivo's that uh, doctor, professor, or whatever, uh, who created Amazo, if I'm not mistaken. But they've changed that on here, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, as they're getting ready, because they have to go to this nice party and everything, um, they have to dress the part. And so they put their suit, and Lois has her nice outfit on or whatever. But before Lois walks in there, Jimmy and Clark are talking, and Jimmy has all these magazines, these tabloid magazines and everything. And one of the magazines happens to have an article about a boy who can fly in Smallville. And so Clark panics and snatches the, uh, that page out of the magazine when Jimmy isn't looking and uh, sticks it in his pocket. So again, Lois shows up. They all get ready. They go to the party. And here is where things start getting interesting because you see the party uh, or you see everybody in the party. And then uh, uh, eventually uh, Ivo pops up. And honestly, if I wasn't, if I didn't know any better, I would think that they were modeling Ivo after some version of Tony Stark because he's like a much younger version of Ivo. He he kind of dresses a bit similar to how Tony Stark dressed in um, a cartoon that I've seen a few years ago. I think it was one of the Avengers cartoons. And he has like this goatee that looks like it's meant to mimic Starks a little bit. But he, he that's pretty much, I guess, as far as it goes. Now, he does have this kind of snarky-ish personality, but... The difference between actual Tony Stark and this character is that Tony is confident and he can back it up and he doesn't really screw up like this guy does. And that's one of the things that the episode kind of talks about is that Ivo has had some screw ups and they mentioned that he basically has no money at this point. Now, Lois is trying to interview all these guests and stuff, trying to pretty much get the dirt on them <laughs> and they're all kind of ignoring her. And as Clark approaches Ivo to uh, ask him some questions, he Ivo kind of tries to bribe him because Clark may have overheard him talking about uh, his struggle or the company's struggles, and he decides to try to bribe him with some women at a, at the uh, at a uh, table at the juice bar or whatever. And he ends up taking a shot at Lois, and it kind of pisses Clark off. So he kind of calls him out on his BS, and then he throws Clark out of the party. And then Clark, or Lois lets him back in, but they find out, or they notice that Ivo and one of his people are going into this secret lab underground, or I guess below the party. And as they sneak in there, they see that Ivo has put on like this vest and he's about to raise up um, to the party again to uh, address everybody. But in this, in this secret lab, they see there's a lot of technology that was used by Pretty much the people that they were that they've been fighting the past three episodes, which by the way, that was Intergang. I could not remember the name. It was Intergang that they fought in last week's episode. So that was the, the the group with the ice powers and everything. That technology, but anyway, that technology is in Ivo's lower off uh, lower lab that they're in. So they make their way back to the top, and Ivo is now unveiling this new technology that he's been talking about, which is that vest. He activates it. And it turns into this uh, suit of armor, Tony Stark. <laughs> but um, yeah, and he calls it the parasite armor, which again is is different um, because Ivo is not parasite. Like, at least last time I checked, he wasn't. Um, and the, and suppose if you remember parasite from the cartoon, that well, <laughs> the '90s cartoon, he was a, again a meta who pretty much drained anybody he touched. He drained their basically like their life force and their powers and they kind of took that and made it a, a, a different thing with this show they made it took a different spin on it 
So basically, when Superman goes in to punch him, he absorbs the kinetic energy and he grows stronger. And he pretty much is able to kind of slap Superman around. Um, there's not a lot that goes into this. Lois and Jimmy end up helping uh, Superman by lowering this shield that Ivo had up that was kind of sapping him of his energy when he touched it. And Clark, or Superman pretty much, but actually, he ended up beating him by not even fighting him. Like, as he noticed as the fight was going on, when he wasn't hitting Parasite, the armor was kind of shrinking back to his normal size. So, with nothing to feed off of, which was a flaw in the design of the suit, it pretty much backfired on Ivo. And it kind of, for lack of a better phrase, drained him, I think, of his life force. Now, Clark got the suit off of him before it could really do you know, full damage, but it did kind of leave him in this, it kind of left him in this husk of a state, he, he looked real old, his hair was gone, and he, his body was frail, and so Superman takes him back down to the, uh, or takes him down to the ambulance so they can take care of him. Now, after this, he switches back to Clark, and he talks to Lois, Lois mentions that she's cold, and Clark gives her his jacket. She goes back to the office to write up her report on the incident. And as she's getting ready to head out, she notices the magazines that are on the floor. And she realizes that one of them has a page ripped out. And as she's kind of putting everything up and looking around, she happens to put her hands in, her po in the jacket pocket of uh, Clark's and finds the balled up paper that speaks about a boy in Smallville that was flying. So after looking at it, it's like it clicks and she's like Clark Kent and Superman and that's where the episode goes off. So that it's an interesting, it's, it's definitely an interesting take that they're going with right now. I, I'm going to be honest, I think that they're going to make everybody think that Lois knows he's Superman, but I don't think they're going to stick with it. I think they're gonna be, there's going to be some type of trickery going on where he manages to get her to or manages to trick her into thinking that he's not Superman. I don't know. That's usually how that goes. But, again, this show kind of has taken its own path when it comes to certain stuff. So, who knows? They, they might not even do that. They might actually go with Lois knowing that Clark is Superman. Because, actually, in the opening theme of the series, he kind of takes his glasses off and becomes Superman standing right next to Lois and Jimmy. So, they might take a different approach where Lois knows he's Superman pretty much right from the go and they just go with it like that it would be different from all the other interpretations so we'll see but again this is another really good episode um definitely would, rec uh, would recommend watching it um looking forward to the to see where this technology angle is going because I see now that that's pretty much what they're going to stick to this technology angle and just run with it so we still don't know who the technology belongs to but I'm sure we'll get to that toward or closer and closer to the season finale. And it'll also be interesting to see if they try to introduce any other DC superheroes in this show. Because I was thinking about it as I was watching it. I was like, I can kind of see them having Batman pop up on here at some point. But right now, you know, this is a Superman show. So we're going to let it be a Superman show. But with that said, hit that like button if you like what you saw. Drop a comment to let me know what you thought of this episode. And remember, we have the high ground. Catch you later.